Welcome to the Chita T Digital Library. In this series titled Fatal Flaws, we will discuss the 10 major problems Indonesian speakers have when it comes to learning English. If you can understand these 10 grammatical concepts, you will improve drastically your English speaking and writing skills. Fatal Flaws Lesson Number 1 To be I am You are He, she, it is We are You are And they are what makes this concept most difficult for Indonesians is that they do not have the to be verb. When they say, I am hungry, they simply say, aku lapar. Whether you are using first, second, or third person singular or plural, Indonesians do not have a to be verb. They simply translate, I am hungry, into, I hungry. They do not need to conjugate their verbs. So instead of saying, I eat, I ate, I will eat, they simply say, makan. So to understand when you are eating in Bahasa, you simply look at the context of the word. Is it words dealing with present tense, future tense, or past tense? But in English, you must know the correct conjugation of the words. I am, I was, I will be. The first part of your assignment is to fill in the blanks with the correct present tense using am, are, or is. Please fill in the story with the correct present tense. You may stop the recording at any time in order to do the assignment. The second part is to fill in the correct verb using either present, past, or future. Be aware that the context of the sentence gives the clues to which tense you will use. If it happened in the past, like yesterday, before, earlier, use past tense. If it happened in the future, tomorrow, later on, next time, you will use future tense. And the other ones, you will just use present tense. Please fill in the blanks with the correct verb tense. The third part of the assignment deals with turning sentences into different tenses. The first one, take the paragraph in present tense and change it to future tense. All bold italicized words change the verbs into future tense. In the second paragraph, it is present tense to past tense. Please take all the verbs that are bolded and italicized and change them to make the story correct in past tense. You may download the assignment from Google Docs and complete them in your English portfolio. Or you may simply print them out and write the answers directly on the sheets. Please present your answers to Mr. Min in the next class meeting.